December the 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The words and the date are forever etched into the American mind. In less than an hour, 18 American warships were struck. 2,386 lives were lost. However, the attack was not nearly as devastating as it could have been. The Japanese failed to damage their main target, the American aircraft carriers. These types of warship would dominate the American war effort in the Pacific. The Japanese also stopped with only two attack waves, believing that the element of surprise was lost. The danger of counterattacks from the USS Lexington and Enterprise remained high. Their location remained unknown. Critically, the US intelligence services had been reading Japanese codes for some time. They understood that the attack was imminent hours before Japanese warplanes were seen over Hawaii. But a series of unfortunate events meant that the warning never reached Pearl Harbor in time. The next day, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt formally asked the Congress to declare war on Japan. By this time, Japan had already declared war on the US. So did its allies Germany and Italy. On December the 8th, the US officially entered World War II. Immediately after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Japanese naval aircrafts attacked Wake Island, an atoll with a military base almost 2,000 miles away from Hawaii. Japanese bombers flying from the Marshall Islands caused considerable damage, destroying 12 Marine Corps aircraft on the ground. More than 1,000 civilians and 500 armed forces personnel had no choice but to defend the island. 